Hi everyone, we want to give you a brief overview of banner tables and cross tabulations within Question Pro. So, banner tables um, and cross tabs are accessed from the reports section. Just go down to cross tabulation, choose the survey, and then you can go here and here's where you can access both banner tables and the cross tab feature. Let's take a look at the survey first. Um, it's a fairly simple survey. You have a couple of different um, you know, multiple choice questions and multiple choice, multiple select, and then a rating question of how satisfied you are and comments, really. So what we want to do over here is really look at the survey, cross, you know, cross tab on, let's say, either, either the role over here. So what we want to see is how the data differs for the presenter versus the exhibitor versus the participant. So that's kind of the, the kind of overall objective with banner tables. So go, let's go, let's go dive into it. So you have you know, go into reports, go into cross tabs on the on the left. So over here, what we want to do is obviously choose the pivot as the role question. So what describes your role in 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 this conference? So what this does is pivot on this question. For each option uh, for that question, uh, the data is segmented for that option and create and and a, and, a, and an Excel report is generated. And even over here, you can say, do you want to look at all the all the data that has been collected, or only the completed data that has been collected? Um, and you can hit the create banner table function. So this would create an Excel file, and let's load up the Excel file. So, and this was an older Excel file over here. So that's right, right here. So over here, as you can see, it created this Excel spreadsheet with the overall data and then cross-segmented by presenter, vendor, and participant. So the gender question over here is then segmented. So you can see overall we had 50, you know, 51, 48 um, yeah, spread in, uh, in the male-female ratio versus, versus presenters were more 81, vendors were 30% male, and participants were, I guess, closer to the overall, really. So now, um, so that gives you an idea of how data changes with each segment. Um, and and a, you know, a chart that you can copy and paste can, is also generated for you so that you can actually copy and paste this directly into, um, into, a, into a PowerPoint doc or whatever you're trying to do over here or even just use this Excel spreadsheet itself as a tab. Uh, in, in cases in, over here, in, um, for, for matrix questions, we also generate out the mean um, and then the mean is also uh, you know, you know, displayed across each of the segments. Uh, the banner table also has another nifty feature over here um, called secondary pivots. So secondary pivots are, let's say you want to look at the role and also add in the gender at the same time as a, as a, as a subsequent column. So think of it as creating two banner tables at the same time. Um, that is what secondary pivot, let me go through and do this and see and show you how exactly it will look like. And well, let's open up the spreadsheet over here. And there we go. So as you can see, now we have five columns, one for each option, the presenter vendor, like we had the first time around, and then we also have the male female um, option along with it. So the male female gives you uh, the data uh, with multiple multiple questions pivoted at the same time. This this was especially helpful if you want to pivot, you know, two or three two questions at the same time and see all the data in one shot. So the next part that I want to show you is really nested pivot. So what we saw earlier on was secondary, which is basically one after the other. So you could also do one inside the other. So you wanted to see, let's say, again, we select the role and then we create a nested pivot of the gender um, and then create the banner table for that. So I'll show you how this thing looks right now. Let's load up the Excel spreadsheet. And there we go. So let me see if I can explain this. So now we have, you know, this each column is a combination of every option in question one and every option in question two. So we are we are basically creating a nested uh, combination. So in this way, you have presenter and male, presenter and female, vendor male, vendor female, participant male, participant female. So that gives you another way of looking at the same data, you know, one underneath the other. Um, and of course, every single question is, um, is, is plotted against each of those data segments. So effectively what the system does really is create a data segment for each value for question one combined with each value on question two. 
um, if if question one and two are obviously the the primary and the and the nested pivots. So the, that's another that's another way of using the banner tables. And in terms of options, kind of let me kind of go through some of the options that are there. The filter result we've already talked about it. You know, it's completed versus non-completed surveys. So by default, it'll pick up all the surveys, all all the survey data that's out there, whether the users completed whether the users have completed the survey or not. Uh, but you can always filter it for completed surveys only. And then the data table is percentage or frequency. So if sometimes it makes sense to look at the percentage for the most part, you know, I think percentages make sense, but in some cases you actually want to look at the actual actual frequency table. And in, in many cases you you may or may not want the want the want the charts. In some cases the charts are probably too overwhelming. You can only have the data table and then you can just use that as a you know, you know, and you can create your own charts from the from the data table. The cross tabulation, the feature below it is a is relatively the same thing except that it just does one question at a time and it, it just does it online without you know spitting out spitting it out to excel so it just does it online uh, in real time so you don't have to kind of run the whole thing and you know you know spit it out in excel you can just look at the data really quickly and say how you know how the data changes over here you can see you know you know the males are represented you know through 36 13 and 40s 9 percent as you know not presenter, vendor, and participants. This gives you a very quick idea of how, what the distribution of uh, males and females are, you know, vis-a-vis -vis presenters, you know, um, vendors, and participants. So this just does it online. So that's what this does. That's it. Uh, hopefully this this was helpful. Uh, we have some more videos coming down the road. So this would be one of the many videos that we're gonna run. Uh, all right. Thanks a lot.